Batman Lost, number one, which is written, and let's see if I got all these names down, Scott Snyder, yeah. James Tynion IV, yeah. and Joshua Williamson, with art by Jorge uh, Jimenez, Doug Mankey, and Yannick Paquette. Uh, so this is a one shot which is basically a psychological David Lynch-esque dream issue inside Batman's head while he's uh, you know in the dark multiverse attached to one of these towers and it's basically Barbatos in his head messing with him and trying to like basically convince him to just sort of give up and let Barbatos take control uh, which yeah. is shown through Bruce Wayne is sort of imagining he's a he's a grandfather and his his granddaughters asking him to tell him Batman stories and there's a cool little thing where the shelf has all the 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 Batman trades the essentially versions. on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dark Victory is there, Hush is there. Or, uh, you know, at one point the girl even says, "Oh, I, I like the long Halloween." Or I think Batman yeah. says, "Oh, let me tell you about the long like, Halloween." Does, yes, yeah. Let me let me let's talk about the long Halloween. And she goes, "No, I already heard that one. Let's go back to your first. Yeah, and I liked. What's that? Gone. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, like some of the other ones you guys you see there, No Justice and Court of Owls. Yeah. 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 Um, but, uh, so... But it, it all goes back to the first Batman story and how they play with that. And I, I kind of like that on a meta level, is the, the granddaughter's like, no, that's not how it went. And Bruce kind of like, no, I was there. This is how it went. And it, it's, you know, how how it's changed over the retellings, over the, you know, character's existence. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, and then, It's very uh, similar to what uh, King did in Batman with the, the Catwoman yeah. stuff. Yeah, kind of. Yep. But as it's going on inside the story, it keeps changing like a dream does where he'll end up somewhere yeah. else in a different situation. One, it's like mm-hmm. a post-apocalyptic world where Damien's leading like this resistance fighter to want to kill Batman. One... Yep. It's uh, he's it's like he's, he's he's his ancestor, his grandfather, and a cult uh, who are going to murder this woman who I thought looked Selena Kyle. Uh, when we saw oh, a her. lot, yeah, yeah. And I, th- and I noticed there too, like there was the names Thomas and Jefferson, and I just I couldn't get over that. Like that couldn't have been no, I coincidental. That as well. hmm. Yeah, you know, and and it felt like very you know, um, like American Revolution era. But yeah, she looked a lot like Selena, which. Not not that it was distracting, but I was like, this has to be. For yeah, a I, I don't think it was a, an accident. I think it was the the point was it was some it was the image of someone he cared about. Yeah, it was, it was a representation, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, it's, it's really that simple. Um, did I like this issue though? I think that's a harder question because it is a very. Uh... Well, ask Matt. I, think... I, I feel like if anyone's going to hate this, of anyone, it's going to be Matt. Mm-hmm. So Matt, how did you feel about I, Batman Lost? I liked it a lot. Oh. I liked what it. Yeah, I liked what it did with. Batman, like, it fulfills its title. It's, you know, Batman's in this situation because he couldn't trust others to do this. Like, you know, he played right into the hands of the Court of Owls and Barbados, Barbatos, however we're pronouncing it. Uh, and, you know, and so this is him stuck in his own kind of personal hell, right? Where he has to keep reliving these events and, and what led him to this. And it feels like there's nothing he can do about it. But we all know that's not true because he's Batman. He'll find a way. And yeah, yeah I, I liked it. Um, it's funny, actually, because last week Connor was concerned about the multiple parts. And I said, oh, I bet it's all different stories and they all take different ways. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I mean, I, I like this issue in a lot of ways. But in other ways, I have some problems. I feel <clears> like <throat> uh, I really like everything it's doing, everything it's saying. <clears throat> but I feel like it takes a couple of reads to really... Yeah, because it's kind of disjointed. Let's like say it's like a dream. Things keep changing. It kind of just jumps around. Yeah. And you compared it to Lynch, and I think it works better on screen because you can kind of see the transition. Whereas here, you just go from one thing to the next. It's kind of really sudden. You turn a page and you're somewhere else completely. I agree with that. I think that's yeah, why. I, like that. I think that's why sometimes Grant Morrison uh, throws me a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes he nails it, but sometimes it's like, oh, this would work better on a screen. Yeah, I, yeah. I like that they're kind of going all in on the the Morrison mythos of you know the the whole like everything happened you, you know he says yeah. It, yeah it's like even if they all contradict each other you know, it all happened in yeah, some way it mentions yeah. them Bar- 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 seeing him back in time and there's this idea so we get to the end towards the end of the issue and Barbados is like no I am the bat and it even implies that he was the bat that flew into the window that made him become yeah. Batman and that sparked the idea now I don't think that's literally what's what's happening here I don't think that's w- what happened you know but I think he's trying to perverse the image of the bat and he's trying to like say, hey, you know, it's kind of like Dark Side is like, you know, Barbados is like, I, I am here, and he, you know, he implies that, you know, the only reason why you're like the way you are is because I was here guiding you. Like all these other Bruce Wayne's and all these other universes, they they all messed up. They all went on to do awful things. Look at all of them. You're only as strong as you are because I'm here. Well, I, I yeah, like he tells him that too. 
go ahead, Connor. Uh, just, you, you know, you said, oh, you know, you, the, the, you don't know if, if it's true that, you know, he perverted the bat. He was the bat and stuff. Uh, I like the idea that you can you can choose either or. It doesn't, Ooh, it's up to I you. Don't, I don't think that's true at all because if this is, if uh, Barbara saw him fall through time because of Final Crisis, right? Then Batman was already the bat. Yeah, right. I, I, He's already I, chosen that for yeah, himself. Yeah, this this is one of those. It's the those those time paradox things, yeah. isn't it? That so you I I don't I feel like that's gonna be Barbatos's undoing. Is he and look, look at me being positive about Batman. It's <laughs> like no Bruce. Bruce chose this for himself instead of in all these different dark versions that we've seen through through metal. This Bruce has actually made the right decision. Because here's, here's the thing, right? If Barbara was, was that bat and he was there to inspire the choice yeah. to become the Batman specifically, then it's predetermined. And I absolutely despise that with every fiber yeah. of my being. Which is why if you think that's the case, you're just wrong. There's no choice. You're just wrong. I'm telling you, you're wrong. Uh, Connor's wrong all the well, time. now that's what I, I think it is. See, I, I think there <laughs> is an option here where it's... If Barbados did do that, it was... It's it's the idea that maybe it was predetermined that he would become Batman, but it, it, you know going back to what Matt said, it's like but he was already Batman when Barbatus learned about him. So it's you know it's this who gave who the idea. Maybe he wasn't predetermined, and maybe it's it's one of those uh, close close circle loops well, that you just you don't know. What I'm getting from Metal is every universe is always gonna have a Batman, right? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. because of the things that have happened, and it's it's almost. The, these uh, Dark Knights tie-ins have almost been like, well, it's Batman's own decision that destroys these universe. And if he makes the wrong one, then it all goes to hell and it's going to be destroyed. Oh, no, but it's not, what... it's, it's not those Batman's decisions that destroy those universes, though. I guess. See, this is where it starts to get into that. Yeah, because it, no, it's, it's, it's been made pretty clear that these universes are created because they're what would happen if the other choice was made from our Batman, right? Right. And that's why the whole right. universes are created, and that's why they have a time limit. They're, 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 they're not destroyed for a reason, they're just, they're, they're, they're on a time limit from, to begin with. As soon as they're created, they're on a ticking time bomb. Yeah. Right, but they're made from that from that bad decision. Yeah, but that's kind of you from, know? like, not their Batman that made that build, it kind of is their Batman, but it, like, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a splinter, right? So, one was be, yeah. stayed being our Batman, and then the other one Right. Veered so off. The reason that this one's not part of the Dark Mode, and this is why the Batman and Lash is collecting them all, is so they can, you know, have their chance and and do what they feel was the right decision, you know. And but yeah, but I don't. It's just one of those things where now, like Connor said, everything. Yeah, sure, everything happened, but it's not like you exactly know. You know, we can reference it. It's a lot like Doctor Hurt making up all those stories about Batman's family in. Uh, in yeah, because I, I I I hate the idea that anything like you know Batman making the choice to become Batman, you know the, the whole idea that his parents being shot is random. Like the idea that anything is predetermined or it's destiny is like abhorrent to me. Which is why it's like no no Barbados has been doing this because he saw him when he went back in time, and that's why yeah. it's happening. And now he's trying to pervert it because that's what Barbados does. He's this force of of evil. Or self, whatever, whatever it is. I don't necessarily think he's evil personified. I just feel like he's he's just trying to corrupt. Because part of me, that's... part of me even wonders, like, like, because it, it went back to the dawn of time, right? When he went back in time, and Bruce went yeah. back. It was the dawn of time. Like, was he already like a bat? Like, you know, the, the Barbados. Right. Like, that's what they're calling him now. But was he, you know, was right. he just this? You know, in bo- was he just evil incarnate? Like he wasn't, he didn't have a, a presence. Oh. Did he take the image of the bat from well, see, Bruce? Th- this is why I like the idea that maybe he was the bat, because it's like who inspired who then you know, in that circle. Because ultimately, I think Bruce was go like he wasn't inspired to do something by the bat. The image was inspired by the bat. That's all. The idea of him wanting to do something was already there. It was just oh, a bat. That's what I'll use as What's my his symbol. Image? Yeah. So. It's only the the symbol itself that is that well, is predetermined, not and, and Bruce Snyder, doing things. Snyder's writing all this too, and I remember Court of Owls starting with an owl eating the bat. You know, yeah. you know what I mean. And then so again, this goes back into circles. Then if if the owls were the bird or the, the the hawk or the bird clan that turned, you know, and that's what started the bat clan, then. What's with the Court of Owls trying to bring the end of Batman? You know what I mean? Like, it's all of this circular reasoning that I'm sure will we'll be all cleared up by the end of Metal, you know? 
but or it's just it's changing on the fly in order to fit the story and that's fine too but no i like all this and, and i kind of want more of the prehistoric thing and the different clans i was really digging that story with with him fighting and, and the axe and you they tie in the hawks in there and you know half set is his descendant which again i don't believe for one second because the waynes themselves were forces of good in gotham you know yeah. Uh, throughout time, you know, from from the time the Waynes landed in Gotham. So, yeah, I just feel it's Barbara just trying to break down Bruce. Hmm. Yeah. I, I just, like, the implication that, that, that like, the any of this is destiny it always bothers me with certain yeah. characters. Because when it's supposed to be random that they've made the choice to do something, um, that, that just bugs me. Uh, so, but, but here's the question, though. Is it is it destiny that, that Darkseid hit him with the Omega Sanction and sent him back in time? You know? Like, would that always have happened, no matter what? Because of Barbatos? You know what I mean? Like, uh, No. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, no, because how many times in comic books do we have someone, like an evil version of someone from the future? And we're never going to get to that future because it's not all destiny. We can change the future. We can, right. we can alter it. Yeah. So, by the same token... Right. Uh, I think the whole going back in time and then don't setting... you bring science into this, okay? Jeez, it's not even real science. It's just that comic books own science. You know. It's what they've established in other stories, and we've got multiple versions of that even going on right at this minute in different books. Yeah, I, I, I think the thing for me is I don't want to decide if it's predetermined or not. You know, if it was Barbados that was the bat or not, I don't want to know. But I like the option that it could have been. I like the implication that maybe. That, that's all. I, I don't, I I don't want it determined is, either way. Yeah, I just took it that he's trying to mess with Bruce and add that seed of doubt there. Because once you can make Bruce start doubting himself, then he no longer is Batman. Yeah, I, that's why I think. I think he's trying to pervert it. He's trying to say, no, this symbol that you think is yours, it was always me. I was always was there. Me. I think this. that's the most likely, yeah. but. I yeah, like and I idea. feel when this all comes out and, and Batman strikes down at Barbatos and he's going to have a line that, that's like, well, no, I inspired you because that's the way that I'm going to defeat you, you know, or whatever. You know, he's going to turn that negative into a positive. At least that's what I hope. Yeah, you know? but then to go back to, you know, you know he said, oh, maybe Babatus wasn't a bat before he saw Batman. Mm. And it's the idea that then, no, uh, you know, Bruce can go, no, you're beholden to me. I'm I'm the bat here. Yeah, you know. that's what I meant. Yeah. But you said it more concise than I am. But I liked what I had to say. I liked the art changing. Like, anytime I can see Yannick Paquette's layouts, it's like my favorite thing. I just love the yeah, way Yannick he Piquet's does that. layouts are amazing, but I think it's Jimenez's art that steals it for me here. And mm -hmm. it's got this great thing where on, on the start of most of his pages, it has this uh, little vertical panel that comes down with like the, the curve, yeah. almost like a, a bat wing sort of thing. I loved that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think I loved it as much as you two did. Uh, <laughs> this, it always breaks my brain. What? Because I figured you would have been all over this. I'm reading this and going... Pete's loving this. I like parts of it. I love that. See that, that double page spread where Barbatus is like, yeah, all, all the evil versions of you, like, you would be like this without me. Then the second double page spread that I like specifically is when he's showing, like, the, uh, basically what's going on in Bats Out of Hell with all the, the evil, just, yeah. evil Batman fighting the Justice League. And then, like, his cape is, like, swooping down for the bottom half of that double page. And it's like, yeah. there's, like, the red images in each part yeah. of the cape. That, that's the Paquette stuff, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah, because the other one is, is Monkey, the one before that, and I loved it because Barbatos looks like a a dark and twisted specter. Yeah. You know, the specter. Uh, uh, so, yeah. you know, and you have all these different stuff, and I just, yeah, full of good art. And then, too, where his granddaughter, when he puts it together, and she jumps up onto the ceiling, and like some creature, I thought, you know, Monkey. Monkey is perfect for this type of stuff. Yeah. Hmm. You know? Just bone chilling. So, yeah, good issue. I really enjoyed it. Hmm. That was okay. I, I feel like it's poking at some things that I don't know if I like. I, I need to see where they go. But as it is right now, it's kind of like, oh, okay, I'll see what you're doing. See, I want them to leave it. I just poked at the idea like this and then no more. That's well, it. that's fine. I never have to deal with it then if, if they just leave it at poked. But, um... If they, if they go deeper down this rabbit hole, I could have complaints. <laughs> <laughs>